Good morning and welcome to our weekly question time. We've got our star of the week and our superhero of the week. Good morning girls, what class are you both in? Badgers. badgers. Year two badgers. And what's your favourite thing about being in the badgers? Uh, that we get to go in different classes to learn and do like phonics. Ah, so you like the fact that we go all over school to do phonics. We yeah. split up, don't we? Yeah. To different groups. What about you? What's your favourite thing about being in our class? Um, Ah, so you like the, the when the corridors change, when we have all different themes on the corridors. Yeah. Fantastic. Lovely answers, girls. Question number three. If you could have any animal in the world as your pet, what animal would you pick? I would pick a bunny rabbit. Ooh, why would you pick a rabbit? Because they're cute and they're They are indeed. What about you? What animal would you pick? A puppy. A puppy? Why a puppy? They are very small and cute. Have any of you got any pets at home? What have you got? I've got a dog. A dog? And what about you? A dog. And you've got a dog as well? Okay, fair enough. But mine's called Max. And what's yours like, called? Missy. Like, Missy. Missy and Max. Yeah, like the Max in here. Like the Max in our class. Fantastic. Next question then, girls. Who or what is your favourite book character? Okay, have you got a particular princess you like the best? Yeah, Belle. Belle, why? Because she's got a lovely nice dress. Ah, what colour is Belle's dress, can you remember? Gold. Is it the golden one? Fantastic. And what about you, who's your favourite character? Um, Sleeping Beauty. Ah, why Sleeping Beauty? Because my favourite colour is pink and she has a pink dress. Well, there you go, good enough answer for me. <laughs> if you could change one thing in the world, what would you change? I would change... Uh, I would change my dog being naughty. Oh, so you'd make him into a, a good dog? Yeah. yeah. Why is your dog naughty? Because when we're inside, my dog just reads and pees all over. Does it? Oh no! <laughs> so you'd change that, would you? Okay. <laughs> and what would you change? You stop your dog from growling. Because it makes me feel like she's going to bite me. Does it? <laughs> Make you a little yeah. bit nervous, a little bit scared. Okie dokie, next one then, girls. Where has been your favourite holiday? Where have you been that you've liked the best? Greece. Greece? Why Greece? Because it's hot and it's, you get to go around the back and see animals. Oh, lovely. Have you been to Greece lots of times or just yeah, the ones? once and... It was on my birthday and I, and I got to stroke a deer. Oh, fantastic. That sounds like a lovely holiday. Butlins. Butlins. Action-packed butlins. Why there? Oh, your brother Jack. All right, and you'd like to go back there. Sounds like a fun place. Sounds like you had lots of fun there. Last question then, girls. If one grown-up in our school was secretly an alien, who do you think that alien might be? Mr. Savage. Hey? <laughs> Why? That was a little bit quick. Why me? <laughs> what makes you think I'm the alien in school? Because I'm cheeky, an alien, or alien's cheeky. Okay, fair enough, I can live with that. Um, Me as well? Yeah. Oh my word, why do you think I'm the alien? Because, because when, it's, when it's topic, you sometimes stand on the tables and teachers who don't usually do that. And well, it, that's makes it, it makes it fun, doesn't it, if I'm yeah. jumping on the tables and chairs like that? Good thing is that you remember it, so you remember the learning that we were doing at that time. Mm -hmm. Method in my madness, girls, doesn't mean that I'm an alien. <laughs> <laughs> one last thing to do. Be uh, one last thing to do before we go. I've noticed something on your wrist. Star of the week. What's that all about? Um, so I've, I've, I've put it on the 
because I'm trying to help you kids and lots of stuff are going down and me and my mum are just all over the place. You are, aren't you? And you've, you've sat down and made loads and loads of loom bands, haven't you? And you've been selling them at our school for a pound and all that money's going to the Ukraine, isn't it? To the people in need. And we can't even get to my, my, my dog's dog food because... Um, the, bo uh, the box is too heavy. Yeah, you've got loads of donations, haven't you? It's a fantastic cause that you're doing, girls. Well done. We've even got some stuff outside because we can't even get stuff in. That's very admirable what you're doing, helping people in need. Lovely thing to do. Last thing then, girls. Give these guys at home a big wave and say goodbye. <laughs>